Highland Hill Farm is setting up biosecurity measures to help prevent the spread of the Ebola virus to our employees and to our animals. The Ebola virus can spread through the contact with blood, secretions, organs, or other bodily fluids of infected people or animals. And it also can be present on surfaces of things such as bedding, clothing, or inside of vehicles contaminated with these fluids. Highland Hill Farms located in Fountainville, PA. Pennsylvania has the most stringent biosecurity act for the prevention of the spread of pathogens to the food and fiber supply of our nation. Under the Biosecurity Act of Pennsylvania, farmers and ranchers are allowed to set up the protocols for safe ingress and egress into our farming operations to prevent the spread of pathogens such as Ebola. Due to the fact that federal employees have a high likelihood of dealing with people with Ebola, either from immigrants or people from West Africa, or people that are in hospitals sick with Ebola, or the CDC employees, all government employees are banned from Highland Hill Farm. Be notified that if you work for the federal government and you come on Highland Hill Farm properties, you will be subject to the Biosecurity Act of Pennsylvania, which calls for, for a first offense violation of the Biosecurity Act of Pennsylvania, a one-year jail term, up to one year in jail, and a $2,000 fine. A second offense would be a, up to two years in jail and a $10,000 fine. So be aware that Highland Hill Farm is a biosecure area and no representatives of the federal government are now allowed on our premises. A copy of this video has been sent to the appropriate government agencies to make sure the government agents are aware that they have been banned from Highland Hill Farm. Also, we have biosecurity placards posted at entrances to our properties to assure that we do not have Ebola on our premises. You can be assured if you're a customer of Highland Hill Farm, we're doing everything in the world to make sure that you have a safe visit to Highland Hill Farm and that you do not contract Ebola from uh, agents that work for the federal government who have been to Highland Hill Farm who have a high likelihood of spreading the Ebola virus. Thank you. The Biosecurity Act of Pennsylvania comes about because of House Bill 511 and Senate Bill 906, which requires persons entering farm properties to abide by directives for biosecurity that the farms and farmers established to be posted and performed for critical areas designated as biosecurity areas. The bill amended the Crimes Code by creating a misdemeanor offense of biosecurity trespasser for those entering an area posted as a biosecurity area without the permission to enter and a summary offense for failing to perform biosecurity measures that the farmer has prescribed in posted notices to be performed in areas before entering. The bill also requires the State Domestic Animal Act to give the Department of Agriculture the authority to require the establishment of biosecurity areas to minimize the presence of diseases or hazardous substances on the farm. This was not something that I dreamed up. This is something that I'm required to do. If you want privacy trees and you're not sure what to plant, you can always call us for suggestions or send us your plans and we'll give you free suggestions on what would be appropriate for your location. This is Highland Hill Farm, Fountainville, PA. Decisions, decisions. What should I plant? Should I plant a green giant or should I plant a Leland Cypress? Both trees are excellent trees for the landscape. Both trees make great screening trees, but there are differences. This is a green giant <clears throat> planted next to Leland cypresses. They were all planted at the same time. And the green giant here shows a much denser, fuller conformation than the Leland cypresses. Now these are all planted in a heavy shaded area with a full canopy above them. But they do get about two to three hours in the morning of morning sunlight.
but you can see that the green giant is a superior tree than to the Leland cypress in the shade. These Lelands have some yellowing on the inner needles and that it was in part caused by stress that they received from last winter. Last winter we had an exceptionally cold winter and many of the Leland cypresses burned over somewhat. These had some burned, they have recovered to some degree, but the green giant had no damage to it whatsoever. These plants have been in here for about two years. They were planted when they were three foot high, and right now they're between five and six foot high. And so you can see, if you're gonna plant in a shady location, that the green giant is a better plant than the Leland cypress. We at Highland Hill Farm grow thousands of Leland cypresses and green giants. And we do recommend both of them for shaded locations, not full shade, but shaded locations. They need a few hours sun a day. But as you can see from this video, the green giant is a superior plant than the Leland cypress.